You can use today's hot lick as a great phrasing concept or warm-up exercise, but there's even more than meets the eye as to what it can teach you. Check it out. Well, hey there, kid. It's your good buddy, Uncle Ben, and I am extremely tired. I've been playing some shows, working with my main man, Andy Wood, on his new solo album and doing some renovations here to my home studio, but that doesn't mean that you guys aren't still in need of a good old learning. So, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a great lick that I came up with that you can use as an excellent alternate picking warm-up or phrasing idea, but there's another really critical thing that it can teach you if you watch the entire video. So be sure to stay tuned. As always, this video is brought to you guys by everybody who supports my channel over on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash benellerguitars. Sign up today, even for just a buck a month, you're gonna get access to a ton of bonus videos, downloadable tabs and backing tracks, and so much more. This week, everybody who supports my channel, even at that $1 a month level, is gonna get access to some really handy practice tracks that I made to go along with this lesson to help you get this look up to top speed in no time. So don't delay, sign up today. Gear-wise for today's video, I'm using my lovely Ernie Ball Luke 3 that I got from Sweetwater right here and I'm playing that into the Axe FX3. Usually I sync the audio because I record it direct to my computer and stuff, but guys, I'm just too flippin' tired to do that for you guys today. So I'm recording all the audio direct through the Sennheiser mic that I have attached to my camera. And if that's not good enough for you, be sure to mail in your receipt for a full refund on what this video costs you to watch. All right, meow kids, let's hear that hot lick again at stepdad speed. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that you need to know about this lick is, if you ever get a comment response from me that has the word telegram in the username, that isn't me. Ignore that stuff, report it, block it, whatever. This stuff is driving me crazy. I swear to God, I spend more time every day fighting bots than Neo does in the Matrix. It's driving me insane. So anyway, that stuff is not your good buddy, Uncle Ben. Okay, so here's the deal with this lick. It's based around the A Lydian scale. A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. You could say that this is the E major scale, only starting from the fourth note. You could say that this is an A major scale with a raised four, whatever you wanna call it. That's what this thing is gonna be based around. Let me just go ahead and show you the lick first, then I'm gonna show you some of the details as for why I put it together the way that I did. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off here on A, B, and C sharp on the low E string. Use that big wide one, two, four fingering on frets five, seven, and nine. And then just shift your hand up a whole step to play the next three notes in the scale, B, C sharp, and D sharp. So now we have six notes there on the low E string. Next, when you get to the A string here, you're gonna play that exact same fingering pattern from where you are. So you're on fret seven, nine, and 11, E, F sharp, and G sharp. Just play up those notes two times. Okay, so you have. That is the entire lick in a nutshell. So the cool thing is, is based on the way that I put that phrase together, you can then transport that entire thing an octave up simply by playing from the position that you're in. Okay, here's what I mean. On the D string now, play uh, seven, nine, and 11, then jump up a whole step and play nine, 11, 13. Same thing you start with, only up an octave. So that means we can then go to the G string here, nine, 11, and 13, and play up that twice. So now you have the same lick in two octaves. Then what you're gonna do is to start from this A note on the B string, fret number 10, and play that exact same phrasing idea. So we're gonna play the big one, two, four stretch, jump up a whole step, drop down to the next string, and that's the entire ascending portion of the lick. Yeah, 
Now you could think of this as being like triplets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could think of it as being sextuplets, where you're playing six notes against a beat. One, two, three, four. You could even think of this as sixteenth notes, and that's fine too. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. Whatever floats your boat, it all works, and it's good to practice that with as many different subdivision ideas as you can. So after you finish with that last part of the lick, we're going to start the descending part of the lick, which is going to go like this. Okay, move your little finger up a fret so you're starting on A this time. And what we're going to do is to play down the scale like this. We're going to play A, G sharp, and F sharp, and then put your little finger on the G sharp note and play G sharp, F sharp, E. Again, same phrasing idea, three notes, jump up, three notes. This is three notes, take a step down, three notes, okay? And then on the B string here, you're going to play that same wide stretch. It's going to be 16, 14, and 12. Walk down it twice. Okay, so that's the entire descending phrase in a nutshell. Then go to your next A, which is right here on your G string 14, play the same idea. Go into the D. Go to the next A here on the 12th A, same lick. Then go to the low E string. So again, it's the same lick in three octaves. Octave one, octave two, octave three. And then you can just loop that and start over. Octave two, octave three, walking down. One, octave two, Octave three, and so on. Now again, this can make a really excellent warm up or a great phrasing idea if you're familiar with my uh, love of three plus four arrangement of scales. I put out a video two or three years ago about my three plus four scale pattern secret in which I showed you guys that you can put together phrases in such a way that you have three notes on one string and then four notes on the next string to form all seven notes of like a major scale, for example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can just copy and paste that onto the next grouping of strings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's really cool because you can cover a lot of ground and it's easy to see how those patterns are just shifted onto the next set of strings as you move through the neck like that. Um, the cool thing about that is, too, is with that arrangement of notes, in this case, four plus three to form that A-Lydian scale, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, it opens up a lot of possibilities for phrasing in even numbers, the way that we did in this lick, one, two, three, four, five, six. We turn these four notes into six notes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we turn these three notes on the A string into six notes by playing up them twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we took a pattern that was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and turned it into a dirty dozen notes. That's really easy to alternate pick starting on a downstroke, especially if you're a downwards pick sliding player like myself kind of in that Troy Grady cracking the code language, that means it's easy for me to change strings after upstrokes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's an upstroke. One, two, three, four, five, six, upstroke. It's easy for me to do those string changes really fast whenever I group my notes together in even numbers like that. Really cool. If you learn how to take advantage of that stuff, it can take you really far with your playing. Okay, so that's one thing about this that I want you guys to take from this entire lick and this entire lesson is whenever you learn a new scale pattern, try to find as many different ways to phrase with it as you can. You could look at this pattern and do the really boring thing like what I just did right there and just play straight up the scale. That's really dull and not musical. It's also really hard to alternate pick because of the mix of odd numbers and even numbers. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, down, wait. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's like flip-flopped every time. Whereas if you change your phrasing like we did today, 
it's really easy to shred with because your pick is doing the same stuff on every string. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy and paste onto the next set of strings. So it's really handy and you can shred through stuff much better if you put a little bit of thought into it. Okay, now here's the last thing that I wanna tell you guys about this lick. The secret thing that it might have been teaching you all along. It's gonna help you learn the notes on the neck a whole lot more better. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. The pattern, right? It started off on an A. So what we did whenever we walked up the neck, we did it from this starting point of A, fifth fret low E string. We did it from this starting point of A, seventh fret D string, right? We did it from this starting point of A, the tenth fret B string. So if you learn that on the way up, you can learn those three very usable positions for the note A. There's a starting point, there's your second octave starting point, there's your third octave starting point, right? Oh, Brass Monkey. So you can learn that on the way up and have A's on three of your six strings. Pretty cool. Here's the great thing about that. This is something I preach to my students all the time. If you want to learn the note names, just learn the natural notes first. Learn your musical ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G on every string. If you know where A is, you know where B is. If you know where A is, you know where G is, and so on. So just by learning these three A's, that is a great starting point for learning your musical ABCs. Okay, but that's just three out of six A's on strings that we can learn, right? We learned an A on this string, this string, and this string. But whenever you play this pattern on the way down, See what just happened? You learn A's on the other ones too. There's one on the high E string. There's one on the G string. There's one on the A string. So you learn this on the way up, you're gonna learn this A, this A, this A. On the way down, you're gonna learn that A, that A, that A. And keep in mind that thing that I showed you guys on my uh, This Is Why You Suck, You Don't Know The Fret Board video that I put out a couple of years ago. Anything you learn on the big neck, you learn on the little neck too. Watch that video if you haven't. It's really freaking important and has a lot of tips for helping you navigate the neck. So if you know these A's, you also know these A's. If you know these A's, you also know these A's too. So it can kind of help you learn every A across the fretboard. Pretty dang cool. And again, that's a great start for helping you learn the notes. But here's the other cool thing about it. Take that same lick, right? And just try it from a different root note. If you're trying to learn all the G's on the neck, try this lick, but starting off on a low G note like this. G, G, then on the way down, G, G, G. Try from F, 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 F. F and so on. So again, whatever note it is that you're trying to learn all the positions of, just put this lick there. You're going to learn it going up and going down the neck. And again, learn some great phrasing tips for your alternate picking. Get some cool concepts for your super shreddy licks. And let's be honest, you got to have a good time. Pretty handy stuff right there. More than just a lick here on the newest installment of Weekend Wank Shop. Last thing I want to do is just go out there and give you guys a bunch of licks that you can use that sound like me. That's not the point, right? I want to show you guys these licks and teach you something at the same time, something you can adapt into your own playing. Um, try and adapt that four plus three phrasing idea to whatever scale it is that you like. Maybe it's harmonic minor. You can figure out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You can adapt this to whatever scale it is that you're using for a song or a solo that you're writing, whatever it is. Again, don't play these just like me. Do your own thing with them and you're gonna get a lot more out of it. These licks on Weekend Wank Shop, they're all about like, you know, the, uh, the vegetables on the spoon. It's the airplane coming into the hangar. You know what I mean? Giving you guys your, your veggies, your vitamins and minerals as I teach you hot shreddy licks. So hopefully you guys get some mileage out of that one and can incorporate that into your playing in no time. Like I said, sign up to the Patreon page today. You're going to get access to those practice tracks to help you get it up to speed. 
uh, in a hurry. I'm gonna put those up at a bunch of different tempos as well as just the MIDI tracks. That way you can make your own perfect practice session and get this guy up to speed fast. As you're practicing with this lick, the, uh, the intro there, you heard it at, I think it was 100 BPM as like six tuplets. I think that was right. Anyway, as you're practicing this, just be sure to go up slowly with the speed. Go up slowly with the metronome. Don't make huge jumps with your, with your tempos or anything. I would say go up in you know, units of like two or three BPM. Practice that for a few minutes. After you can do it perfect, like 10 times in a row without even thinking about it, move up another two or three BPM and you're gonna get this stuff smoking hot in no time. So there you go guys, a really great lick that you can add into your playing and learn yourself something at the same time. Thank you all so much for tuning into this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, report those stupid telegram robots that are spamming all my comments as we speak right now, report those things, get them taken off here, they drive me insane. And uh, sign up today for that Patreon page to get access to a ton of other good stuff. All right, guys, thank you all again so much for tuning in. I'm going to get off of here and edit this video. I've got an early day in the studio with Andy Wood tomorrow, so I'm going to try to knock this thing out and get to bed. That way you can get up early and get to work with him on this new record. It's coming together really well. I'm excited for you guys to hear it. Anyway, you guys know what we're going to do. We're going to spend less time clicking and more time picking. Cheers. Cheers.